There we go. All right, before we get started with opening ceremonies, we have a very special guest straight from Daytona Beach, Florida, the Senior Director of Short Track Racing with NASCAR, Kevin Neverline. Kevin, first of all, welcome to back to Evergreen Speedway. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, what a great day today. Great crowd here. Uh, going to have a lot of great NASCAR race tonight. I'm excited. Um, I mean, you've been to a lot of racetracks. Y you've heard the stories about that. But the, the crowd showing up like this and uh, the car counts for opening night is pretty amazing. Yeah, you know, it's always awesome. I tweeted out something a minute ago. Just seeing all the fans coming down, seeing all the drivers on the racetrack. That's what a short track race is all about. You know, you have the opportunity to get up close and meet your favorite driver, meet new drivers. I was walking out back there. I know there's a line of people still trying to get in. Uh, nothing better than being at an opening night at the short track. Um, you know, when Doug and Tracy Hobbs took this place over seven, eight years ago, it was, it was kind of going down a little bit, and uh, they've completely revitalized it. I mean, brand new racing service, putting money back into short track racing is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, you see, unfortunately, so many tracks that have, have gone by the wayside over the years, and Doug and Tracy have really come in done an amazing job the investment with the with the asphalt out here on the track but every year they're doing something out here at the speedway and and i think it shows i think the fans appreciate it we at nascar you know we're super proud to have evergreen as a nascar home track and you know tracks out here tracks across the country they put in a lot of time and effort and doug and tracy really epitomize uh, what it's all about to really believe in short track racing all right one more time give it for kevin neveline from nascar All right, uh, you know, it's pretty amazing each and every year to come back and be at short track racing for a, a great event, a great crowd. And, and I will tell you, uh, we have a huge line right now all the way back to the tunnel. That's why we're uh, getting some people so they get a chance to come up here. We have our legends getting strapped in for racing right now as well. I uh, want to take a quick moment to say thank you to all those who have supported racing for so many years. 64 years at Evergreen Speedway. How about that, huh? Pretty amazing. And how about High Road Promotions and the team there, Doug and Tracy Hobbs, the brand new surface, pretty amazing. You don't find very many short tracks in the country putting money back into their track like they are. Round of applause for all they've done. You know, there was a picture posted, I think it was Chad Fitzpatrick, uh, eight years ago there was four super late models on opening night. Tonight, we had a couple, we lost motors. We had 26 super late models here. How about that? From four to 26, really turned the program around. And, and it's not just, you know, it, it goes from the top all the way to the bottom. I mean, we have s great support from our push truck guys with Cascade push trucks, our tow trucks with Foss towing, Angel towing, and Sam towing recovery for all their support. We have our draft rescue team who, they're amazing. I mean, we've seen the stuff they've done over the last couple years. They've had some amazing incidents that, most tracks in the country have never seen, and they took amazing care of all of our drivers. Round of applause for the first class team we have there. Our sweep crew for all the hard work they do, uh, keeping the track clear. And uh, we have some new uh, things to deal with this year because we, you know, have some new pavement out there with some uh, outline areas. So they'll be a little busy pushing there. We want to say thanks to the Cascade Push Truck Association. For so many years, they've been a big backbone to help support short track racing here. They want to say thanks to all their sponsors like Lee Johnson, Chevrolet, Fleet Service Auto and Truck Repair, Randy's Ring and Pinion, Foster Press, Berg's Bookkeeping and Tax, Granite Transformation, Lakeside Awards, Drivelines Northwest, Bickford Ford, Cuz Concrete Products and Septic, and Pro Build Lupter. How about this Speedway Chevrolet Pace Car all redone, new lettering on it, looks beautiful. Tonight it's driven by Matt Moreland. The 2003 Black Avalanche, driven by Gary Brakefield. Sponsored by Lee Johnson Auto Group and Nick's Auto Wrecking. The 2004 Blue Dodge Ram, driven by Daryl Willer. 2001 White Ford, driven by Ron Guy with Ryder Tia. Sponsored by Sam's Towing and Recovery. 2014 Black Dodge Ram, driven by Haley Stewart Moreland. 2001 Gold yeah, Ford, sponsored by Cooey's Truck Repair, Avery Auto, Pro Detailers, and J.R. Finicky's Harold Jackson. 1998 White GMC, Wally Walling. 1988 White Ford, Ron Heppenstall. 
Burgundy 2017 Dodge Ram, sponsored by LeMaster Auto Body, Lee Johnson Kia, JR Bling and Hats, Flowmaster Gutters, driven by John Snook. In the red 2003 Dodge, driven by Doug Swaffield. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this time. I was going to do this a second ago, but they weren't up here. How about one more time, give a big round of applause for Doug and Tracy Hobbs for all they've done for Evergreen Speedway. Put it back on the map. The repaving, car counts. Thank you guys for all you do. He always loves doing this to me. Well, welcome, everyone. What a great uh, day to be at racing. Uh, weather's fantastic. Great car count. It's going to be a wonderful night. Hope everybody's safe. Come and see us all season long. It's a great place to be. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. From the 92nd S Street, Sir from the 92nd Street Church of Christ, please welcome Dennis Neva. Would you bow with me for a word of prayer? Our dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this beautiful day and this brand new racing season. Father, we pray that there would be safety out there. We're thankful for all those who are drivers and our fans. We ask that you would keep us safe as we travel to the speedway and back home again. We ask, Father, that you would continue to bless us and watch over us. Help us that we'll have a safe racing season. Thank you for all you do for us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Now, we haven't done this in quite a while, and I figured, you know what? We're going to have a pretty good crowd on opening night. So we're going to use your lungs to sing our national anthems together tonight. And this is the coolest thing ever. You guys ready for this? Sing, sing loud and proud. But first, we're going to sing O Canada. All right, here we go. Our home and native land. All right, I expect you guys to be really good on this one. I want them to hear you loud and proud in the pits, okay? I want you to sing your best national anthem you guys have ever sang before. All right, here we go. Can you see?
All right. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for some short track racing? <laughs> 